Good morning and welcome to MS4 and today we are doing some get ready with me with the new Lawless Watermelon Collection. We are uh, doing some updates and telling you about some projects. Um, I have not been on camera for a wee bit. Um, the reason for that is if you see me looking down uh, I have a new dog. Uh, I call her a puppy but she's about two and a half. Um, we adopted her um, about a week ago uh, from the Wallace Annenberg Pet Space, uh, which is a really cool um, adoption, uh, sort of a center uh, for pets here in Los Angeles, cats and dogs. Um, and the cool thing about it, they bring pets in from other shelters and uh, they get them all cleaned up and they have a space that's really welcoming for interaction. And so uh, it's a really cool space uh, to adopt and it's a nice way to adopt. Um, they also have a human sized gerbil wheel, which doesn't hurt any at all. Um, so if it's a little, uh, if you can hear the, the sound of the fan in the background, uh, the door is open so the dog can, can come in and out as she likes. Um, and if there's any camera bouncing, you'll also know what's going on. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm petting as we speak. Uh, so I got the, the Lawless Watermelon Collection. Uh, I got the blush um, and I got the lip plumping, um, lip filling, line filling, plumping stick, um, the watermelon scented and it's really nice. Uh, so we're gonna actually start with that because my lips feel incredibly dry today, um, but I'm still petting the dog. <laughs> so um, I got the blush from that collection and the, um, the lip plumping uh, balm. Um, I had tried the gloss and it was all right. Um, it wasn't my favorite of glosses, but I, I didn't mind it. Um, and everybody kind of swears by the lip balm. Um, so it does have that cooling plumping. Um, this is the watermelon color and it smells like watermelon. So it's really nice. Um, I was really wanting that feeling of, of that energetic lift of summer coming. Um, we've had a, a number of like rainy mornings this last week. This is a lot of fun. Okay, so we'll have a little bit of cooling plump. We'll have some nice watermelon shade while we go. Um, and I have the, the Lawless powder to start out with and I did pick up the Lawless bronzer. Um, so we're gonna remove the spectacles and get started. Um, so this is the face powder. Um, talc free, nice mirror. Uh, I really like this powder a lot. Uh, it's quickly becoming a favorite of mine. Um, it's got some, some nice coverage. It's got a nice feel to it. Doesn't feel overly drying. Um, so that's a bonus. A bonus. And you can use it to set or as a foundation like I'm doing today. I just had skincare on. Okay, so there's that. Um, and that's got the, the shiny reflective packaging. Um, now the, the bronzer, so I really liked the, the blush formulation. Um, and so I decided to give the bronzer a try. This one is the Lawless Summer Skin Velvet Matte Bronzer in Golden Hour. Um, I don't love the shade of this. Um, and I've been really waffling back and forth whether or not there's a difference in, in the formulation of this or whether it's just the color that I don't love. Um, now, I may be wrong, <laughs> um, especially as we're going into summer and we're getting more time uh, out in the sun, changing some color. I, I might like it a bit more. I just, I'm still on the fence. It wasn't an automatic, oh God, I love this. So um, we're still, still holding out on that. Okay, but it's got the matte packaging. Um, same size, these guys are, well, roughly the same size, the, the powder and this. 
but as we go into the blush, so this is the watermelon blush. So you're gonna see the size difference from that in the bronzer and the powder. Uh, but it also has the shiny, shiny coat. I said coat, cause I'm looking at the dog. It has the shiny packaging. Uh, it has a little mirror, mirror, and this is the color of it. And I am really excited about this color uh, for spring and summer. Um, so you can, let me switch brushes real quick. If you wanna use just a, a soft brush and you just want a light, like wash of color, you can do that. And it's just super light. Um, if you're worried about that, that bright of a color, the dog doesn't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Usually I'm talking to her. So you could just do kind of that light. I'm going to take the, the more stiff uh, of my, my bronzer brush just to show you, like if you apply it with a thicker brush. And I've gotten a lot of really exciting blushes lately. Um, I did pick up the one of the Huda, one of the NARS, uh, one of the new Sigma Cream blushes. Uh, we're going to do a little new blush roundup here pretty soon. Um, but this was just super exciting. This color just spoke to me. Uh, so, and I see we're getting, building up a, a deeper color read of that. Um, so I think if you were using a thicker brush, um, a thicker, a little stiffer brush, um, you could really get some, some color payoff of that. Now I'm going to put it along my eyes because I'm, I'm going to use the lavender one palette from Lawless today. So there's that. So I, I like that and I like the color. I think it's fun. Um, with the lip, um, I did wear it one day with a lip liner and that worked really nicely too. Uh, so this is the lavender one. Um, the baby one also would kind of work. I'm gonna stay away from the, the cooler lavender and go with just more of the, well, it's, it's all fairly cool. But anyway, that's where we're going today. Um, so my, my puppy here is Terrier Mix, um, so she loves to smell everything. I'm gonna go in this bottom one. Um, so when we, we go for walks, it takes forever because it's like the, everything needs to be smelled. Everything. Uh, but she's super cute, so uh, I think she gets away with a lot of, of stuff just because she's cute. But. Uh, she had hernia surgery. Um, she was just there at the Annenberg. Uh, she'd been there five days uh, when we adopted her, but they had done a, a hernia surgery on her. Um, so she's got stitches. So today is gonna be the first day she's able to get a good bath. So we're gonna, gonna make that happen today. Uh, Cause she's been a stinky puppy. No offense. She's still super cute. She is also stinky. Okay, I'm going in with a liner brush to do the darker shades. Actually, I want to go ahead and do the the shimmer first. Sorry if I'm blinding you. The Lawless eyeshadows, I really like. They they don't maybe necessarily look like much um, in pan as you're, as you're looking at them, but they behave really nicely. Um, so I've, I've been enjoying, enjoying these. Um, and they go on really easily, really smoothly, fast. Um, so you can just whip out a look in no time. So if you're in a hurry, you can just but something that's really nice looking together pretty quick. Now, I would be interested in seeing something that's in these same kind of tones or exciting color, lighter color. Uh, 
the, the watermelon collection was really espousing. Um, that would be really fun. But anyway, it's a really nice formula. The powder formula is just really good uh, with Lawless. So if you're at all interested in powder sort of projects, um, I think you'd like them. Um, let me put on a little bit of liner. If I can find the liner. There it is. Um, okay. This is the amethyst from the Laura Geller Coal. There's that, we're gonna throw on some mascara. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about, so I've been doing a project. Um, the, one of my favorite skin products is the, the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser. Um, I hate the mess that it makes in my shower, um, but that just seems to be like something that I'm just not gonna be able to do anything about um, at this time. Um, but I did really hate the packaging because it was really hard when you got towards the latter third of the product to get the product out. Um, these squeezy tubes were just really difficult to work with. Um, so I decided that I would try and figure out a way to repot basically the product. Um, so I want to show you that, the, what I went through. Um, we'll replace my spectacles. Oh, there you are. Um, so the first thing that I tried was uh, a, th a travel size from Walgreens. And then I went to the container store after that. So uh, this is not sponsored. Uh, so anyway, this is the, the KP Bump Eraser. And as you can see, I ended up cutting the top out of it um, to get the full product out. Um, I started out putting it in. This is a little kind of a, a harder plastic sided uh, from Walgreens travel size um, but the same problem there was a lot of product in there that was hard to get to uh, when you're out and the hard side uh, not so much and uh, the softer sided ones were also not optimal and um, so what I did was I went to the container store and I got we've been using these to house like our, our chopped parsley and so forth but I didn't want something where the cap unscrewed and then I had the same problem where I'm losing it in the shower. And so this one pops off, but it's there, it's, it's holding it. Um, this is what I had left in one of my, my, and I bought another one to fill this up. Um, this comes with a little insert to the container. It's a slide where you can put in shaky things if you can see that right there we go okay um but I'm, I'm not gonna use this part of it uh, and then I just got a little um, this was something I repurposed um, from a, a set of, of little paper uh, holder thingies anyway so it works as just a little spoon that I can keep in there um, but this way as I get down I can get it's big enough I can get my paw into it to, to pull out what I need and then uh, just really easily close it back up um, and so it can be in the shower it's uh, washable and then when I get to the end of it um, I can rinse it out and refill um, so that came from the container store um, so that's been really really nice um, oh here it is this is the the repurposed bag clips um, I just pulled apart one and that's what I've been using for the spoon for that but this also from the container store um, and then some one empty and one something that's that's going out of the collection um so this is the uh, peach and lily this is the moisturizing gel um i've used through uh, i think two travel sizes of this and i just bought a full size from ulta i um, really like it it's very lightweight good for daytime um it still feels very nicely satisfying you know moisture wise to the face but it's not too heavy goes really nice with makeup um and then 
going out of my collection. My Wet n Wild Tinted Moisturizer um, is just starting to smell a little different right now. So um, I'm gonna to let that go and then look at, I need to do my, my foundation uh, update for the, the foundations that I bought. Um, but anyway, I have to decide whether or not I'm gonna repurchase this. It's really nice. Um, foundation uh, reminds me a little bit of like the, the Laura Mercier that I have um, but it's just there's there's not really a smell to it originally there's a little bit of a product smell to it there's no uh, perfume fragrance um, but now it's starting to smell a little off so I think it's it's time to exit stage left um, so anyway that's the projects um, I'll let you know how all of the depotting goes um, but I, I feel like this is this is gonna be a super good solution to my KP Bumper Race housing product uh, situation. So we'll let you know with, with that how it goes, but I did, um, it was fun going to the container store. It's always a good time. So anyway, the, the Lawless products. Um, love the Lawless powder. The bronzer, I am still up in the air about, I'll just, I'll have to look at the footage for this and just see, you know, if I can be a little more objective when I'm not in the moment. Um, and then just see how the color goes as far as we're getting into the summer. Um, the blush. Um, I love the blush formula to begin with, but this new color is really fun. And you can do light wash of it or a, a deeper color read. Um, the Lawless eyeshadows, I love. Really like the formula, really nice. Um, seems kind of basic at first, but it, you can get some just really nice, pretty looks pretty quickly on it. So it's like the baby ones are a, a nice investment um, that should take you, like especially if you want to travel, they're really nice that way. Um, and then the this one, um, I actually do like this. Uh, my favorite of kind of the lip plumping sort of uh, people is still, I think, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Collagen Lip Bath. Uh, but this is nice and it doesn't like really tingle too much um, doesn't stay too long and that kind of feeling like it's plumping um, the formula itself is just a nice lip balmy sort of feeling um, and I do find this color fun uh, for spring so um, if you're in the the market for something like that I'm sure there's probably cheaper um, but it, this is nice um, and again the watermelon smell I like it I like it I'm enjoying that so Anyway, uh, this is M is four. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, we will update you on repotting projects and puppy projects and so forth. And hope everyone has a really great uh, long weekend coming up if you get one. So anyway, take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.